Criminal charges against more than three dozen people arrested during the riots in Pittsburgh over the past week and a half are being withdrawn. DA Steven Zapala's office says they don't have enough evidence to prosecute. That word came today as local public defenders demonstrated downtown calling for change. Pam Serrano is at that protest and joins us now live. Pam. Ken, they sang and cried in front of the Allegheny County Courthouse tonight. A group of demonstrators organized by public defenders who say the death of George Floyd is an example of injustices within the protests and within the court system. About 200 people gathered in front of the Allegheny County Courthouse, rallying against what they feel is systemic inequality and racism in the criminal justice system. Allegheny County public defenders who organized the rally say racial injustices are finally getting the awareness deserved. It takes away, not all together, but it helps the frustration that the black community has been hearing and, and being subjected to for years. An intelligent, measured, and emotional response to um, what has happened in our county. The rally came as the Allegheny County District Attorney's Office issued a statement saying criminal charges were being withdrawn against almost 40 people protesting in Pittsburgh since the death of George Floyd. The DA's office said until the public safety director provides evidence that is both relevant and substantial, it is inappropriate to proceed with these criminal complaints. The public defenders say today's announcement is a start. There are people who are seriously injured by the warfare that the Pittsburgh police uh, waged. And so it is as it should be. There is no evidence to demonstrate that these people committed crimes. The Fraternal Order of Police say they are disappointed in the district attorney's decision to withdraw charges against rioters who endangered lives, destroyed property, and injured law enforcement officers. Now, we're told many of the 39 whose charges were withdrawn were withdrawn for their failure to disperse charges in protests that were downtown. Now, 71 buildings were hurt during all of these protests, and there were about a dozen police officers injured as well. There were at least a dozen protests citywide so far, and two of those peaceful protests did turn to unrest. We're live downtown tonight. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.